Hey guys, CBFC here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm going to be uploading a video which is going to be my best possible squad for 5 million coins. So if you do have around 5 million coins, today's video is going to show you the exact squad that I would put together with that 5 million coins. And I am going to be using 442 to get the required chemistry before we go into the game. You can use this formation to play a 4-4-2, a 4-2-3-1, narrow formations as well, potentially even five at the back as well, and you will see why with the personnel that we choose as we go through the video. And we're going to start off with the goalkeeper today. And it's simply just for chemistry purposes, and it's going to be Edison. So we're going to put him in, just the normal Edison. You don't need anything too fancy. If we are trying to save some coins, we can just go and get gold Edison in there, and there shouldn't be any problems with that. And the centre-back that we are going to choose is going to be inform Kyle Walker. So the centre-back variation... Um, as we can see now, centre-back variation. He's quite expensive, actually, but he's probably one of the best centre-backs I have used. Helps out with the chemistry as well, but if we just have a quick look at his card, his stats are very, very good. Now, look, his right-back card is also quite good, so if you're struggling for coins, you can actually put him at right-back in, um, you know, in the formation before you go into the game, and then just switch him to centre-back in-game. Um, you know, this the, the gold card is quite good as well. But if you do have a little bit more coins to spend, then, yeah, look, go and get the centre-back variation um, as it does have a little bit better stats in comparison to that right-back one. But as we can see there, really, really good stats. Incredible card that you guys can use at centre-back. Now, at right-back, we're sticking with the Manchester City theme. Just depending on how many coins you guys have, you can get gold Cancello if you don't have enough coins. Now, this particular team costs around sort of like just under 5 million coins at the time I made this video. So, hopefully it's still around the same kind of price. Maybe just check on Footbin or Footwiz before you go out and buy the players and then you end up being a little bit short because the market has changed. Now... The actually, sorry, we'll just go through Cancelo's set stats just quickly. So, uh, look, he's quite a good card as well. The only, uh, I guess, the only weakness for him is his strength, but he's really, really good on the ball. I probably prefer him as, a, as an attacking kind of fullback as opposed to someone like a Tavernier. But if you don't really attack too much with your fullbacks, then probably Tavernier is probably a better fullback. But if you do dribble a lot and, and sort of get your fullbacks up the field, then and Cello is perfect for that. And then obviously in this team with the Manchester City theme going on, it really does help out for chemistry purposes. Now, nothing too fancy for the left-hand side of the defence. It's just going to be the standard two players that we see throughout Weekend League for the most part. Just going to be, um, obviously, Raphael Varane. And then it's going to be Ferlin Mendy on the left as well. Simply because it just gives us a really, really good chemistry. And I still think that uh, Varane is, is still one of the best centre-backs in the game. Uh, probably the best gold centre-back in the game, I would say. And then, you know, Ferlin Mendy, probably the best gold left-back as well in the game. So, they give themselves a double green link there. Um, and then really all we need is a French player there for Varane or just some kind of orange link, and then it doesn't really matter with Mendy. He's already got two green links, so even if he gets a red link here, it doesn't really matter. Now, Ferland Mendy, he's got the high, high work rate, which I really, really do enjoy. Um, I like those fullbacks that are able to get back quickly. Now, the work rates aren't as noticeable as opposed to FIFA 20 as they are. Um, sorry, in FIFA 21 as they were in FIFA 20, but it is still good to have the high, high work rates on the fullbacks if you can, and you know, look as his as his stats suggest here. He, he's definitely one of the you know one of the better gold cards going around, not just for his position. So still a really usable card even in March. Now for the centre midfield here, we're actually going to go with someone who will change position in game, 
and that's going to be Mbappe. Um, now I believe I do have an Mb my Mbappe in the club, um, so he will probably be the one used here. Yes, my gold Mbappe. Uh, you know, gold Mbappe is still one of the best wingers in the game, in my opinion. If you've only got 5 million coins, you can still use him up front uh, if you want, but I'd probably be playing him on the wing. But, you know, he can still do a shift for you guys at striker. Now, up front is another player that will be switching in-game. And it's going to be um, none other than Renato Sanchez. So, I can't spell today. So, Renato Sanchez, uh, road to the final card. Now, if you don't have enough coins, you can just get the 82 inform. But, if you are good on coins, then you can... Just go and get that road to the final card. This card here, still one of the best cards, about one of the best center mids or CDMs going around. Just don't worry about the um, negatives there for the stats uh, that will be fixed once you guys get the right position modifiers and he's on full chemistry, which he will be at the end of this team. But as you can see, his base stats are really, really good. Great defending stats, great physical stats, and you know the passing. Short passing is really good as well, um, and you know the acceleration and sprint speed will be absolutely um, even more boosted with a shadow as well. So we can probably guess who's going on this left-hand side. Uh, yes, you guessed it. It's going to be Neymar. So I'm going to put him on the left side, and I would recommend playing him up front. I think he is a better striker than um, you know someone like Mbappe, just because he does have the double five five about him he's got you know the, the really really close dribbling inside the box really good for left stick dribbling and you know even contextual dribbling if that's what you use but yeah really really good striker even at this time of the game is gold neymar so he will be our first striker and then we'll put mbappe on the wing um you know, left wing right wing doesn't really matter where now this is another player where you don't have to have this particular version of the card if you're running short on coins, then you can go and get a cheaper one. But by my calculations, you should be able to afford the 89 rated Bruno if you do and go and get this particular this particular team. So you should be able to afford him. Now, on the right-hand side is going to be a player that you guys can actually use if you want to play five at the back, or you can play him as a winger if you want to. Um, you know, if you just want to have him, if you want to play that. That 4-4-2 or the 4-2-3-1 formation or, you know, like a 4-3-1-2 or something like that. Um, you know, you can play him at center mid. So it just gives you a lot of options having Kulisevsky in the side. And then, you know, with that said, it's going to be pretty obvious which player is going to go up front. And he will be our second striker and that's going to be Gold Ronaldo. So... He will be the second striker in today's video. You know, as we can see here, once you guys get all the loyalty and, and everything, you're gonna have um, you know, you're gonna have Cancelo on 10 cam, Walker on 10 cam, the goalkeeper on 10 cam, Varane and Mendy will both be on 10. Um, you know, Renato Sanchez will be on 10 with the right position modifiers, and Bruno Fernandez will be on eight, I believe, with loyalty and manager, and Kulisevsky will get to seven cam. So you guys will have a hundred cam. The only players that will be off chem is going to be Bruno Fernandes on 8 and Kulisevsky on 7 chem. Um, however, you should be able to get him up to 8, I believe, with loyalty and manager. Um, potentially, let me just, yes, because he's out of position. So once he's right mid as well, you'll be able to get him to 8 chemistry and Bruno Fernandes. So maybe something like a an Italian, uh, sorry, a Serie A Portuguese manager will be able to get you these guys on 8 chemistry. Um, and then they'll be the only guys off chem, so that'll look quite good in game. Uh, because it is a concept team, we can't go into the custom tactics, but basically what we'll do is we'll put Ronaldo and Neymar up front, and then we'll put Mbappe and Kulisevsky on the wings with obviously Bruno Fernandes and Sanchez in the central midfield positions. In a 4-4-2 or the 4-2-3-1, I'd play Neymar at cam. If we're playing a five-back formation, then I would play Kulisevsky at right wing back. Um, potentially, I'd probably play Walker, Varane, and I'd probably play Mendy at centre back. Probably a better centre back than Cancelo. And then you'd play Kulisevsky and Cancelo as your right wing back and left wing back. And then into the central midfielders, I'd probably play, obviously, Renato Sanchez and Bruno Fernandes in central midfield positions. And then maybe Mbappe as one of the other central midfielders. 
and then Neymar and um, Ronaldo up front. Alrighty guys, and that has been my 5 million coin meta team for you guys. Drop a comment below, let me know how you guys found this particular team if you did try it out. Really interested to know how it went in Weekend League and Rivals for you guys. Feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys did enjoy today's video as I will be doing a lot more of these videos in the future. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next video.